episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official teaser trailer for the next chapter in the DLR series, Mulan. I wouldn't technically call this a DLR, only because this one is actually based on a true story and no musical segments, uh, none of that pretty much. I don't really consider this a DLR. D okay, first off, DLAR. Secondly, I agree with that, but this is still under the Disney banner, so I'm, I'm, I'm counting it. Personally, myself, I'm counting it, though it is more based off of the true story. Yeah, much. to me, this is to me this is this is more S akin to the, like you said to the true story than the original mm -hmm. animated. So, anyways, this has been in production for like feels like forever now. Apparently, they got started late because they were. The main actress they were trying to find. It took the auditions took longer than they did. But and if you're wondering, we're talking about Mulan. We, we no, we no, we, we did, I did we say did, Mulan. We didn't say that. No, no I said that. Mulan. No, you didn't. You, you're gonna watch the playback. I want to hear you were right, Kristen, or message you were right because we did bring up Mulan. Okay. But anyways, yes, we are. Of course, we're gonna re-say it again. We were talking about Mulan. So anyways, it's all Asian cast. So right off the bat, Mulan's being played by Yefei Lu. Um, you remember her. You remember the, the film Forbidden Kingdom? Yeah, I remember her. I know who she is. That's who's starring who she as her. And it also has very notable actors like Jet Li, uh, Asian actors like Jet Li, Donnie Yang, Jason Scott Lee. Mm -hmm. Freaking Jason. I haven't seen Jason Scott Lee in like what feels like freaking forever. He's in this. As well as like Zima and even Jimmy Wong as well. And, yeah, and a bunch more pretty much that we can't really. Yeah, and it's being yeah. written. By the guy, be by a couple of people who worked on some of the the previous Planet of the Apes films as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's dive right into this. this is the, they just dropped this after just a few moments ago, uh, for, at least for us as they were recording for the official teaser trailer for Disney's Mulan. So here we go. But in a different way. Yeah. Spring next year, cool, nice. So, we could there's a couple of takeaways from that. Um, definitely most notably near the end is that it looks like they're extending the whole like from the animated film. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, I'm just going off of the animated film because that's the one I saw. Is the uh, when she starts up the avalanche to take out the Huns, you know, minus the, the noisy cricket and talking dragon dude, yeah. Um, looks like they're sitting it to a point where she actually still, she fights back in her full, like, female guard. Yeah, that's what much. I'm saying. That's why I said this is more akin to the true story than, uh, to the, even the animated version, pretty yeah. much. That's uh, really yeah, according to IMDb, the plot is pretty much the same. It's, um, she's take one, they come to the village asking for all the available, like, warriors they have. Yeah, all of that. And her, then... her father wants to go, but she, she's against it. So what she does is she steals her family's sword and goes in his place, pretty yeah, much. pretty yeah. much. And sky herself as a man. Um, but, yeah, from, I definitely feel, compared to the other, I know you don't consider them DLR, but I'm I just don't. Gonna, I don't consider Compared to the other DLRs, this feels definitely more grandiose. Would you agree on that? It feels a lot more grandiose. It feels like there's a, there's been a lot more 
considering they've had more time to work on this, there's been a lot more care put into it. Just from the teaser we got. Only because, it, again, this is more of a biopic than an actual, pretty much, DLAR. That's what this is. And they have to be extra careful with it, with the culture, with every little detail they have to be extra careful with. And that's how it come. Um, we're just now getting word, you know, getting some type of teaser for this because it's, it's been in production for a long period of time because they want to make sure every little detail is as, as accurate as they can make it. Yeah, I know there's going to be some downsides from fans of the animated film. Like, you've, we, there's no Mushu, there's no Cricket. Oh, as far as we know, mainly there's, 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 no, there's no music. No, there, there's no music, Mushu, but there's mainly no musical bits. Yeah, that's what I just said. No music, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, no music whatsoever uh, for musicals, singing alongs, or anything like that. Nothing like that. I, this is a straight up... By, that's how come I don't... That's where I'm taking out of the whole... Pretty much, it's not a direct... D L A R. I'm that's why I just don't even consider it because it's more of a biopic, a biopic than anything else. But anyways, I was going to say before we got into, I ignoring the D L R debate. Um, I will say I did get vague hints at the reflection song when listening to the orchestral. Yeah, that you hear. I that. did. I did get vague hints of that at least. I I'll give it that. I did get vague hints at that. There's something going still going. There's probably going to still borrow from the music from the original animated film, but more of an orchestral, down lyrical sense. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, yeah, we got everything we've seen so far. It's pretty much what we know is going to happen and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Her still training in the dark, still, her family still wanting her to be a proper, like, wife to a future husband instead yeah, of, of being a warrior. And I did love that throughout the entire thing when the lady's talking to her while it means to be a proper lady, pretty much. And it just converts that, translates that, and the film translates that to her just being a badass throughout. Pretty much showing her skills, pretty much, of what she's trying to become. That's what it is. Yeah. So, like, early impressions, I'm happy about. Like, you know who Jet Li is? Jet Li's playing the Emperor, pretty I much. I know. I didn't know that. I was reading it, Jet Li's playing the Emperor. That was really cool. I like, I'm curious to see where they go with it. I really am. This has, has piqued my interest. I would say, this, m purse myself, we can debate about this for ages, this is the other, like, DLR film I was looking forward to. Considering I found out there, what well, you found out, which is, they're, they're basing it more off of the actual true story. That's where I kind of got interested in this. And this piques my interest as well. Like, I still haven't seen Aladdin yet, and I still want to see Aladdin. After seeing this, I want to see more. I want to see what they're going to do with this. Yeah. How they're going to implement the story. How they're going to still convince people who were fans of the anime and who, unlike us, did not know that was based on true story. How they're going to translate the stuff we did enjoy about the Disney animated film mm -hmm. into the uh, live act, into what we're getting here with this film. Exactly. As well. I think she, uh, Yifei, let me make sure I'm going to butcher her name forever and ever. Yeah, what oh, is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, the Fei Lu, pretty much. I think for most part, she does definitely fits the part overall from what we've seen yeah, so yeah, far. Of course. Yeah, and well, overall, well, it should see more. What about you? Overall, no, I already said what I said. We did. Yeah. Oh, yeah keep forgetting things. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, uh, one last thing is, if you want to debate this, we won't debate this anymore. But if you want to debate this, we're not. You consider this a DLR or just consider more... Again, what he means by D-L-A-R is a Disney, much a Disney live, live action, action remake. remake. So, like, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments and stuff. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about DLRs or no DLRs, biopics or not biopics... Hit, you know, the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. Let us know what you guys thought of this overall, pretty much. Uh, is, is this always been one of your favorite uh, characters, pretty much, overall? I know it one, it's one of my wife's favorites. Um, oh. So, she pretty much, uh, like I said, she looks like she's doing a great job here. Um, you know, let us know what you guys think of it. Do you, Did you want the musical bits in there? Do you like it the way it is, how it is, without the music and just, you know, more focus on the actual woman pretty much that we're following than just the animated version or do you prefer the animated version with Mushu, the cricket or even more of the musical bits in there uh we'd love to hear your guys thoughts on that as well put down what you thought of our reaction overall but most importantly thank you for watching yeah it kind of in a way disney de disney de disney de disney fied 
this film pretty much mm -hmm. is a good way to look at this yeah so until next time i'm kristen i'm christopher and this has been a very mulan filled episode of srb see ya later Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.